What's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna tell you some bad story about Norway and uh, uh, finally I found something that I can tell you that this is really bad about Norway. This is not completely related to Norway but it is kind of related to Norwegian services, government and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tell you, you decide yourself. This is about posten.no or the local governmental post office that is used in Norway. I will show you not my face but a nice uh, view around so uh, let me turn the camera and then I will continue explaining what happened. Actually there was not a single problem because if there was a single problem with this I wouldn't record this video, I wouldn't bother doing it. But there was a multiple problems and there was zero solutions from Poston. So that's why I'm doing this video, I'm recording it. As you can hear uh, my problems and understand that whenever you can, please avoid using Poston service. Use any other postal service that you can. If you are inside Norway, use HealthJam, use other services, don't use Poston. Okay, anyway, uh, I will explain now why. So, first and the foremost, the easiest. I always buy goods from AliExpress. I buy a lot of goods. And AliExpress has in place set up very good system, as well as uh, eBay and a lot of other shops. The system that charges you VAT, VAT, or the local tax for goods that you're buying on AliExpress automatically. It is, uh, as if I correctly remember, it, it is around 30% of the price. Uh, of the item, so it may be a little bit less or a little bit more, but anyway, let's say it's 30%. Okay, AliExpress automatically charges you this amount of money whenever you buy from AliExpress. But look at what happened. Most of the time I got my packages delivered from AliExpress with this payment method, no problems. They just shipped from China, prepaid, and they arrive, and I don't pay anything, everything works okay. But Whenever I'm working with some goods that are maybe not from China and maybe a little bit more expensive, I have several problems. So, I ordered laser, ton uh, laser printer cartridge, laser, yeah, so basically toner. I ordered uh, two, uh, two large uh, color laser printer cartridges. Uh, I don't remember the exact po uh, cost of the cartridges. But uh, maybe they was around, I don't know, 200, 300 kroners each. Uh, so let's guess four, five hundred, maybe 600 kroners, something like 600 kroners. So this was cheaper than buying locally. So of course, uh, my, including the tax, including delivery. So of course, my guess was to get these cartridges. And I did. And uh, they got me delivered. But when I got to the post office, uh, a post guy said, uh, not post guy, but a supermarket guy, but here in Norway the supermarket guys are the ones who are handling post. So he said, uh, sorry, this package is marked for payment of 300 uh, something no kroners, or maybe 300, 305, 320, I don't remember, not, not very important, but 300, 300 kroners is about 30 bucks. So, before that I already paid this amount to AliExpress. I have received from AliExpress of this payment. I downloaded this receipt. Uh, of course, uh, uh, first, uh, first and foremost, uh, of course I paid. I paid because I needed this toner. I needed to use my laser cartridge. I contacted Poston and said, guys, I paid double tax. I paid to AliExpress and I paid to you. Please return me my 300 kroners. And they said, oh well, that's so bad. Uh, you shouldn't take your package if you are not going to pay tax. Okay, so I guess what happens then? If I don't take my package, they just ship it back. And then I just lose all my money or lose the package or both. I don't know what happens then. So uh, I was uh, very angry at them. And I attached to my answer, I attached the quotation from AliExpress. 
I attached scanned document from the package itself. I attached uh, the the package itself was actually not shipped from China. It was shipped by, from Turkey, and uh, that's probably why this happened. But uh, doesn't matter. I, I don't care about where package comes from. I care about bad service, right? I'm a, I'm a customer. I I should have received a decent service. I'm not asking about premium service. Nothing like that. I'm just asking about decent service. So okay. If I am complaining, then I'm probably complaining because there is a real problem. If there was a small problem, I wouldn't be complaining, okay? So I was complaining to Post and I was sending all these documents uh, to them. And what happened? Nothing happened. Okay. This is the first story. So it's still ongoing. They still haven't uh, returned me my money. So that's why I'm recording this video. I wasn't able to solve this during several emails back and forth uh, regards this problem and this a mix up of answers and uh, nothing what really solved the situation. What solved the situation? Just pay back the customer his money. Look at what happened. I, I paid my tax to AliExpress. I paid my tax to you second time. I paid the double tax, just return the money. What is to research here? Nothing to research here, just pay back the money to the customer. That's it. That's the end of story. Okay, this is the first story, still ongoing. Second story. I already told it in, in Russian, so now I will tell this story in English. Um, I ordered some goods from a German shop. Uh, it's some kind of new, interesting... Uh, pills, uh, addition, vitamins, something like that. So you can uh, use it as a, a your life enhancer, whatever you can call it. So I was going to try it because I was interested in this and see if it uh, improves my life quality. Like some something works, something doesn't. Usually for me nothing works <laughs> rather than going with you guys <laughs> in the nature and breathing fresh air. But uh, usually this doesn't work. So I was going uh, to try. So I had the discount from, you know, application uh, called uh, Sweatcoin that I'm talking about often. So, of course, I bought this uh, stuff to try. So uh, there was two issues with this. So I'm uh, telling about, let's say, first issue in this uh, discussion and second issue in global discussion, okay? Um, I got received from the shop package which included plastic dinosaurs not pills but plastic dinosaurs okay plastic dinosaurs children toys what happened there was a box on which was very good sticker very carefully aligned and then there was a sti second sticker on the corner attached to it like this so the normal sticker was like this and the second sticker was like this so it probably detached from one package and gone to another package and uh, Poston thought that the one, the, <laughs> the one on top is the correct one, and they delivered the goods to me. So I am a fair guy. What I do is I explain the situation to to the shop, and shop uh, to, to the, not the, to the shop. Uh, first, I explain it to the Poston service in the shop. Uh, I mean in grocery store where I receive the post. And they say, oh, we are not support from Poston, we are just delivery guys, please contact Poston. Okay, uh, so I come first time at the shop, under the rain, 40 minutes walk, no results. Okay, I contacted Posted by phone, oh no, I tried to contact Posted by phone, but they weren't answering, so I actually wrote him with the chatbot, and they actually answered faster than the phone. Okay, that was good, but <laughs> that's the only good about Posted. And uh, they said, yes, we will try to help you with your situation, we will try to okay, to find a package, but if the package doesn't have a sticker on it, we probably will not find it, but can you please ship the package that you received back? But one of my reasons why I come to shop at first at Matt Crocken shop where I deliver the post, uh, receive the post and deliver as well, it was because I was going to ship back the package that wasn't intended for me. But delivery guy said, no, 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 we don't want it. Contact Poston and solve with them. So I was coming with zero results first time. Okay, I come second time to the uh, delivery guys in the shop and said, guys, this time Poston said, me, said, me, said to me, Please return the item so it can be shipped to the original receiver. And that's what I did. But I also had on, on my hand this detached sticker, okay, 
from the from my package that was lost. Okay, so I never received this package. I never received rebate from Poston. And as far as I know, the shop that sent to me the goods from Germany never received refund as well. So Poston took money, doesn't deliver anything. Shop paid money uh, to deliver. I paid money to shop to deliver as well. So everybody lost their money and Poston just doesn't care. So this is the second situation in, in global and the first situation about sweat coin uh, delivery of pills that I ordered, okay? So there is a second situation or a third in global with the Poston. Uh, I asked shop guys, Poston will not help me. Can you help me please? And Germany guys were very wise and very good customers. So not right away, of course, but when I explained the situation carefully to them, they, they tell, told me, okay, don't worry, we will help you. We will send you another item for free. That was really nice to have another item for free because this, as I seen at this moment, this could be only my solution that, that would solve the situation. Okay, so what they do is they delivered me a new tracking number, they delivered me a new package, and uh, what I get from Poston? I get a mail saying, you have to pay tax. Okay, mm, probably I already paid tax because I have received from Germany, they pay tax uh, for, from their side uh, because I'm the end customer, so I paid to them the price which includes VAT, I paid for, for them the delivery, uh, and this package was lost, okay, whatever, but then the second package was delivered to me, uh, not lost this time, that's good, uh, but uh, they asked me 356 kroners. And the package itself was in, in, in around 15 or 20 dollars, which is about 150 to 200 kroners. So they asked me about 200% of the price for the tax. Uh, so, you know, uh, tax in Norway, uh, when you got, got goods like this, a VAT is usually 30%. So I would have to pay 300 kroners, 356 kroners only in one case, if I got the goods with price of over a thousand kroners uh, with no actual VAT. But first, I got the goods for 200, 250 or 150, I don't remember exactly, but okay, let's say 200 kroners. My good was 200 kroners and 30% of 200 kroners, I guess is 60 or 65, 70, okay, 100. 100 kroners, okay. Not 356, where you get this number? How you get this number? So that was the global third problem or the second problem with the pills delivered from Germany. <sighs> so uh, I was writing constantly emails to Poston, writing about this situation, adding documents, adding documents from uh, for, with the tax declaration, with everything, asking shop to help. Nothing. Zero result. Constantly the answer your documentation is wrong, we, we cannot do anything about it, and they don't even sorry. They don't even sorry. They're just uh, very straight to the line. Okay, this is, this, is, uh, this is okay for me. This is okay for me. I'm just asking the situation to be solved. So I have three problems in one row with uh, this service. To be fair, I used a lot of different other mailing services. Uh, let's say Helgem, the local delivery in Norway. Works perfectly. Okay, sometimes delayed a little bit, but I don't care about it too much. So with the posting services, three problems, zero solutions. And they don't care. They don't care about you at all. So what I have to do, I have to record this video, I have to explain this to you guys. And I have to ask if you know somebody from Poston, if you know somebody who can help with this, if you know a lawyer who can help write a complaint, if you know, the, uh, I am currently considering, uh, because I was walking, you can guess, I was writing these emails, explaining the situation. I was going to the shop under the rain several times. Today is not a, an a exclusion, you can see. I'm right now returning with the third problem. So my pills are laying in the shop and I cannot take them because I know if I pay 356 uh, kroners now for them, I will never get my money back. That's what I know. And probably what's gonna happen is gonna... Boston will say, are you are not paying for the tax? We will ship it back. And then they will ship to the company 
appeals back. And then company will say, sorry, we send you two items, one item returned, another item lost, we cannot do anything, and probably this shop, the company will be right. Probably they will be right. Okay, this is not something uh, really <laughs> like, it's, it's not a several thousand dollars, but you know, if I don't complain, my neighbor don't complain, the neighbor of my neighbor don't complain, nobody complains, and then Poston continues to do this. What should happen is, upon my first question, it should be solved. Upon my second question, it should be solved. Solved right away. Or, if you, they are not going to, to solve this, they should say directly, sorry, this is your problem. Or no, they cannot uh, tell that they are sorry. Okay. Okay, this is not our problem. We will not solve this. Directly, tell me directly. We will not solve this. We, will, we are not customer oriented. We're, we're not uh, doing, we're not caring the fuck out of you. We're not caring at all. That what should, that's uh, what should they say to me. And okay, this, this would be fair. This would save me a lot of time, a lot of hassle, a lot of walks under the rain. And uh, I wouldn't record this video. I would just uh, go further with some solutions. Uh, either complaining somewhere else or just uh, forgetting about this and stop using the postal service of Norway at all. But the problem is, sometimes you cannot uh, live without this, without the service, because um, several people who live in Norway knows that some post service are available in some regions and some don't. For example, I ship a lot of goods all over the Norway and I receive a lot of goods from Norway and I'm always trying to convince people to use Health Gem because I know Health Gem is a good service, it's a commercial service from a company that cares, okay, because you are the customer and uh, whenever you are like... Uh, using their service, you are creating uh, money flow in their system, and uh, this is actually that you, they care about you because they care about your money, right? They care that you continue use the service and continue pay them money, and this service is actually cheaper than Poston. It is usually faster, not always, but usually it is faster, and it delivers. I don't have to go 30-40 minutes away to the shop to, to get my item. I get it right to my mailbox over there. I will show you where I get it. So, uh, this is much more convenient for me. And other than Health Jam, this is only local service, of course. If you're going to order something from Germany, from Europe, from Poland, from Russia, from whatever else, China, uh, you're going to use other services. So, mostly from China, I have no problem. From China, mostly, uh, in most cases, it works well, especially if you order small items, very small like cables, something items that's very cheap, and they usually not no problems. And AliExpress, as I said, AliExpress charges you money for the VAT, so there should be no problems anyways. So, um, yes, uh, but uh, if I order not from China, and if I not use Health Gem, so if um, there are, of course, there are several other delivery companies, but they are very expensive. DHL, uh, I actually had these uh, pills delivered throughout Norway, oh, sorry, throughout Germany with DHL. But whenever they leave Germany, they are converting because Ger DHL is a German postal service. It's like official one and it is pre pretty good. But whenever DHL arrives here with this Tech, uh, tariff or whatever, it, it becomes a normal postal, postal service here. So it's, there is DHL here, but this is a business service that is for business customers and uh, they usually don't, don't deliver. So uh, for a normal customers like me, uh, for end customers, so I cannot use DHL service here directly without any hassle. Or it will be more, it will be very expensive. Maybe I can use it, but it will be very expensive. Other services, FedEx, TNT, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, yes, you might try, but uh, usually it costs a uh, fortune. It costs 20, 30, 50 dollars to deliver a small, you know, box, a small good. Oh, here is my mail I was speaking about. So uh, there is my house and this is my mail. So uh, there's some uh, newspapers out there. So uh, I have to go like uh, 100 meters from my home rather than going for more than half an hour to the shop that is located not conveniently to the post postan office to the postan office to the guys 
to the delivery guys. Okay, delivery guys is not directly related, but the company itself, they should care. They should care. Please, if you know somebody who can help with these problems, if you know where to complain, if you know a lawyer who can help for free or for very cheap, please contact me and tell me this information. Comment on this video uh, or share this video to your friend. If you have a Norwegian friend who had issues with Poston, maybe we could file a, what is it called, a group uh, compliant. Uh, maybe we could gather some force around it. So we can, uh, you know, establish some union or, or find a union that helps people to get their packages, to just receive the mail. I'm not asking for anything uh, super, uh, super high quality service. No, I'm just asking for a normal service. And what I was going to say last here, that's my house, by the way, um, at this point for me, the worst service, the worst service of post that I knew of was in Russia. Because I lived in Russia and I used this service a lot and it is very bad. It was very bad in Russia. But you know what? Right now, Norwegian post, Posten, is starting to get worse than the Russian service. Yes, it's still faster, but it asks you for money, asks you for additional steps that doesn't re usually require ask you to do a lot of stuff that you don't have to do and they don't help you. Russian posts don't help you either, to be clear. But, uh, you know, at least you can be sure with Russian posts, they will say you right away, it is our, not our problem, go away. And then you go away and solve the solution elsewhere. So, yeah, that's it, guys. If this continues like that, I would approve that Norwegian post is worse than a Russian post. Which is a really weird thing to tell, actually. Really weird thing to tell. I hope this resolves itself somehow. All these three problems that I told you about. Maybe it's not. Maybe some of them will solve. Maybe, I don't know what, what will happen. But anyway, I approached my home and I hope you get some new information. And of course, now you can explain that Norway is not perfect. You can use this video as a reference and you can see, see and know at least one Norwegian company that doesn't care about you. And I bet you guys, there are some other companies that don't care about you in Norway as well. But this company is extremely not caring. Really extremely. And this is really sad. I think that this service should not exist. And maybe this is an explanation why governmental services usually sucks. I hope this was useful for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.